Hey everyone, welcome back to Crypto Empire, where we dominate the crypto market. My name is Connor. So the Coinbase Smart Wallet is officially live and on-chain summer has begun. So in this video, I'll show you step-by-step -step how to set up and use the Coinbase Smart Wallet. Let's get into it. So the Coinbase Smart Wallet is officially released and this announcement was posted on the Coinbase Wallet official X account last night. And the pinned tweet on their profile is that the wait is over, smart wallets are here. And they're introducing the smart wallet. You can use Face ID and this is gonna be the easiest way to bring people on chain. All right, so you can see say goodbye to seed phrases, say hello to pass keys, a lot of new updates, simplified transactions and gas fees. Let's show you how to use the smart wallet. Now, I've actually never used the Coinbase DeFi wallet before. I've always been using MetaMask or Rabi. So it's going to be good. You can see exactly how to set this up step by step. So you're going to want to get the official link wallet.coinbase.com. I'm getting it directly from the official Coinbase wallet X account. I'll leave this link down in the description below. So after we click on the link and get to the wallet.coinbase.com website, we want to scroll down to where it says create smart wallet. So let's go ahead and click create smart wallet right now. Now it will go ahead and connect your official Coinbase account. All right. So if you don't have a Coinbase account, you're going to want to make one. I will leave my Coinbase referral link in the description down below. I've been using Coinbase since I started crypto in 2017. All right. It's the, one of the biggest exchanges in the world. So anyways, we'll go ahead and hit create smart wallet on the window pop up. Now the next step is to go ahead and create a pass key. So I'm going to use a phone or tablet. So let's click on that right now. I'm going to have to connect Bluetooth to my device. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. I will have to quit and reopen my browser. All right, so I've been taken back to the website. And again, I'm going to hit create smart wallet. It will bring up this pop up. Again, I'll hit create smart wallet. So I will select use a phone, tablet or security and I'll be using an iPhone to do this. So I'm now going to go ahead and scan this QR code. Go ahead and set this up on the phone very quickly and I approved it. There we go. That took about a second. So my smart wallet is ready. Let's go ahead and it says go to wallet.coinbase.com anytime to view your wallet. And let's click on where it says fund wallet now. Okay, so after I clicked on fund wallet, it took me to pay.coinbase.com. So it looks like I can buy crypto directly from this site or I can transfer from my Coinbase balance which currently has $6 in it in USDC. All right, so I will just, I guess, transfer this over because it's already there. And let's just see how this works. So let's send over the 631 and we will preview the send. Okay, let's try $6. Looks like there's a little bit of a fee involved. And we will go ahead and confirm it. It is sending directly to the base network. All right, no bridging fees, no gas fees directly from my Coinbase account to my smart wallet on the base network. We'll confirm this now. All right, it wants me to go ahead and verify my identity. All right, perfect. I went ahead and verified my identity and the six bucks that I had in that Coinbase account got sent to my smart wallet. Very nice. Okay, so now that we have $6 in USDC in our smart wallet, I'm gonna get some Ethereum in here because Ethereum is the main unit of account on the base network in the Ethereum blockchain and it's used for everything. If you're going to link your Coinbase account to your smart wallet and buy crypto on Coinbase to fund your smart wallet, I would personally recommend using Ethereum to do that. So let's get some Ethereum in here right now. So I will go ahead and you can buy it by hitting buy directly from here. And you can buy it or you can transfer it from your Coinbase account. And as you can see, I do have some Ethereum now inside of the Coinbase account. So I will select that. And I will go ahead and bring over $250 which is, we'll preview this end right now. In terms of Ethereum, $250 is 0 0.0649 ETH, okay? So we're gonna send this to our Coinbase wallet on the base network and we will hit confirm. Remember, you're gonna wanna use the base network. Okay, so it says send failed on authenticated request. We'll try that again and confirm it. All right, so we're gonna have to go ahead and verify our identity again. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, perfect. So after we verify the identity, 
we went ahead and transferred that $250 in Ethereum directly to our Coinbase smart wallet from our Coinbase account. Very, very easy. No hiccups, no friction, and it's immediate, okay? We already have the ETH in our Coinbase smart wallet on the base network. Now we're ready to actually use these decentralized applications on the base network and participate in this on-chain summer that base is calling it all right guys so what i have discovered after trying to use the coinbase smart wallet with these decentralized applications is that you can't actually use the smart wallet directly what you need to actually do is create a coinbase wallet browser extension and you can connect that with the smart wallet meaning that you can send money from your smart wallet to your coinbase wallet and you can import it on this dashboard so i'll show you how to set this up right now so what we need to do is on the Coinbase wallet browser extension, you need to create a new wallet. From here, hit create new wallet. Okay, now it's going to bring up a 12 word phrase and you are not to share this with anybody. You don't store it online, you don't save it in an online document on your computer. It's completely offline. You keep these 12 words. Okay, if anybody gets access to these 12 words, it's game over for you and you, you lose everything in your wallet. Security is very important. So when you click on the eyeball here, it will reveal the 12 words. All right, and you can copy it to your clipboard, but I do not recommend doing that whatsoever. Store completely offline off of your computer. Okay, so go ahead and do that right now. So after you save your 12 secret word recovery phrase, you will need to create a password. Okay, so create your password and go ahead and hit I agree to the terms and privacy policy. Now what you wanna do is you want to hit submit. So go click on submit. There we go, our wallet is ready and we can claim a username. I will do this later. Anyways, we now have our Coinbase wallet created and we also have a separate smart wallet created. So now what we wanna do is in our wallet.coinbase.com browser window. We wanna to go to settings. We wanna to go to add wallet and we will add a Coinbase wallet. Now all we need to do is connect it in the pop-up window. Hit connect. Bang, there we go. We can see this is now our Coinbase wallet connected inside of our Coinbase smart wallet if that makes sense. All right, perfect. Now we have two addresses. As you can see, this is the first address, the regular Coinbase smart wallet, and then second address is the wallet we just made on the browser extension. Okay, so what we wanna do now is we wanna send the Ethereum to our browser extension wallet so that we can actually use decentralized applications. So what we wanna do again, we'll go to our wallet and we will get the address of our Coinbase wallet extension, copy it to our clipboard. Top of our screen, we'll go to send, all right? Choose a recipient. We'll paste that address in that we just copied. Perfect. We're just sending it to ourselves right now. So we're gonna send over some ETH. We'll send over 0 0.05, actually 0 0.06, 0 0.06, $231. We'll preview the send. And we will confirm the send. Now this window will pop up and we will confirm the transaction. All right, and again, we will go ahead and confirm it using a phone like I originally did. So I'm gonna scan it with my phone here and we will confirm it on the phone just like that. Took a second. After you scan the QR code, and as you can see, the transaction is now going through. Zero transaction fee, it was two cents, but base is covering that for us. There we go. Transaction is complete. We'll hit done and we will go back to our addresses. And if we refresh the web page here, so it looks like they put $25 in our Coinbase wallet. Is that correct? Well, we have the 231 that we just sent over from our other wallet. Okay, there we go. Bang, bang. That is perfect. Okay, so now we have, again, two wallets here. We have the Coinbase smart wallet. That's our first one. Second one is that Coinbase wallet browser extension. The reason we created the Coinbase Wallet Browser Extension was because we couldn't connect our Coinbase Smart Wallet to any decentralized applications on the web. So we are doing a little work around on the fly, live on camera. Cool, so now we can use decentralized applications and get to the meat of this video. So again, we want to use a swap to trade meme coins. 
And the main swap is, again, Uniswap, but you can't use them on the smart wallet. What a world, clown world, but we'll use Aerodrome. All right, so we'll open that DAP by clicking on it. All I did was click on Aerodrome and hit Open DAP. It's going to take us to the Aerodrome website. We're going to connect our wallet in the top right corner. We're going to use Coinbase Wallet. Click on that. Again, our Coinbase Wallet browser extension is going to pop up. This is separate from the Smart Wallet website, but anyways, we, you know that by now. We'll connect it. Bang, bang, we're connected. Okay, now we'll sign in. We need to agree to a legal disclaimer, and we'll sign the message. All right, we are connected now to Aerodrome Perfect. Well, what should we do now? It's important to understand that the base network is on a come up right now. It's currently climbing the ranks. If we look at DeFi Llama in terms of the total value locked on all blockchains, the base network is number seven with $1.76 billion in total value locked. And if we click on base, it will take us to all the decentralized applications. And again, the app we're using now, Aerodrome, is the number one DAP in terms of total value locked on the base network, okay? And there's also Moonwell, which I've covered here on the channel before, which is the fourth largest, around $100 million in total value locked. But anyways, Aerodrome, it's used for swapping. It's a decentralized exchange. So meme coins are the current thing on base, all right? If you've been watching me on the channel here at Crypto Empire, you've seen me cover base meme coins, you know, back since March when it first started to gain traction. And I covered Brett back then. It was like a 300 mil market cap. It's at 1.37 bill now. Brett right now is the biggest and strongest meme coin on the base network. So let's say you want to grab some Brett. Well, what you would go ahead and do is you would type in Brett on a website like Deck Screener. This is where you can find all the relevant information about any different coin on the base network or any other EVM blockchain, even Solana. So if we type in Brett in the search bar, you can see the first result that pops up. The symbol here is the Aerodrome logo. All right, and if you hover over it, it says Aerodrome, literally. This is the one we want. So we'll click on that. And as you can see, it brings us the Brett chart. It was listed on Aerodrome back on May 1st. All right, it doesn't go back as far as the sushi swap pool, because again, this is the Aerodrome liquidity pool. But once we have found the Brett coin on Aerodrome, we're gonna scroll down on the right side of the screen where it says Brett and then the contract address here. This is very important. This is how we're gonna trade it. We're gonna click on that and we'll copy it to our clipboard. We wanna go back to something like Aerodrome. Now this, this right now, this is for only informational purposes and educational purposes. This is not financial advice. I'm literally just showing you how to use the smart wallet and Brett is the largest meme coin on the base network. It's the largest coin on the base network in general, besides Ethereum, obviously. Um, but anyways, we'll go ahead now and we will swap our ETH for Brett and we'll just paste in that contract address that we typed in before and we'll select the first option. I will go ahead and put 0.01 .01 ETH and it is looking for a quote now for us. And once it gets the exact exchange rate, we'll be able to swap. All right, perfect. It has given us an exchange rate. One ETH is gonna equal 28,000 Brett currently. 1% uh, slippage, and we're going to receive a minimum of 277 Brett for 0 0.01 ETH. So I will click swap ETH for Brett, this blue button here. And we'll get a pop-up confirmation in our Coinbase wallet, and we'll confirm it. Okay, as you can see in the bottom left, ETH was swapped for Brett. There you go. All right, using Aerodrome with the Coinbase smart wallet. But again, we imported the Coinbase wallet into the smart wallet here. But that's how you use Aerodrome. And you can use any of these decentralized applications listed on the smart wallet website using the steps I just showed you on how to set it up. Okay, so that's how you buy, Brett. Now listen, if you wanted to sell it, all you would do is you would hit this button in the middle, which would swap Brett from the bottom to the top. And now you'll, you'll be swapping Brett into Ethereum. Okay, and this is how you would sell your bread if you wanted to sell it. Okay, let's say you wanted to sell 20 bread for Ethereum. It's gonna go ahead and give us a quote. This is a full tutorial showing you how to buy and sell on base using the smart wallet. So I have to show you how to buy and sell. Let's get this quote. Okay, the quote has loaded. And as you can see, the first thing we need to do is allow Brett to be traded. So let's go ahead and click on allow Brett. We'll get a window pop up in our Coinbase wallet. And we're going to pre-authorize 20 Brett. 
we'll confirm that. Okay, so it confirmed the allowance. Now we can actually swap the Brett for ETH. So we'll click on swap Brett for ETH and it will give us another confirmation window and we will go ahead and confirm it. There we go. It says swapped Brett for ETH. That's how you buy and sell on the base network using the Coinbase Smart Wallet. And again, Brett's the largest coin. There's other ones such as Toshi, which is Brian Armstrong's main cat. And as you can see, this is also listed on Aerodrome. The liquidity is significantly less than the Uniswap pool. And again, I wanted to show you how to use Uniswap, but they're not listed on the Coinbase Wallet website. But regardless, the contract address is the same. The chart will just look different on Dex Screener because again, this is a liquidity pool on Aerodrome. The base liquidity pool was established in late 2023, but the contract address, right? If you scroll down on the right side of the screen where it says Toshi and the contract address next to it, it's the same across all the different uh, Toshi pools you see on Dex Screener. All right, so you can copy that and you can go back to the Aerodrome Finance website. And it's, let's say you wanted to swap ETH for something like Toshi. You have the web, the contract address, you would just paste it in. You click on that Toshi and you can swap it, all right? The base meme coin scene is thriving. It is absolutely thriving. And this guy is Jesse Pollock and he's the number one base contributor, base builder. He's basically, he's a Coinbase employee and you know his job is to market the Coinbase base network. But he's tweeted about a few meme coins in the past. One of them was Weirdo. Right, so let's say you follow Jesse and he tweets about a meme coin. You type it into Dex Screener, and here is the Aerodrome liquidity pool. Liquidity is higher on Uniswap again, but uh, regardless, it's the same contract address. So something like Weirdo here, same process. Scroll down on the right side of the screen, you get the contract address, and you can just go back to the Aerodrome Finance website, and you can swap your ETH for something like Weirdo if you want. Right, this is how you use the Coinbase Smart Wallet to buy and sell your favorite meme coins. Now, one that I'm really bullish on personally is a political finance meme. It's called G Trump, right? It's a bit lower market cap than these other ones, but the chart is looking extremely bullish currently at a 2.9 mil market cap. Um, so if you wanted to trade something like Giga Trump, same exact process, type it into deck screen or you find the liquidity pool. And even though this is the uni liquidity pool, what happens is the contract address is the exact same. So we can copy that to the clipboard. Now go back to Aerodrome and paste it in here. That's where we paste it in, G Trump will show up, okay? And it'll be the same process. You can go ahead and you can swap ETH for something like G, uh, G Trump. Just type in the amount of ETH you wanna sell for G Trump and we'll give you a quote. Okay, I actually digress. Now because G Trump, there's no liquidity pool listed on the Aerodrome exchange, we need to go where the liquidity is and that's on Uniswap. So if we're on deck screener, we can go to the top right of the screen where it says Uniswap and we can just open that link in a new tab and it will take us to the Uniswap Dex Screener page. I'm just gonna type in the URL, I already have it, it's app.uniswap.org. So now on the Uniswap page, we wanna connect our Coinbase wallet and we will connect it like so. Okay, so our Coinbase wallet's connected, perfect. We wanna make sure we're on the base network, not the Ethereum network. And you can see our balance is 0.051 ETH. So we can still uni use Uniswap but you just can't use it on the official Coinbase wallet, which is why we had to do the workaround of creating the browser extension Coinbase wallet. Anyways, again, if you wanted to buy and sell something that's not on Aerodrome, it's only on Uniswap. I'll leave the link to the Uniswap exchange in the description of this video, but you just grab the contract address on the right side of the screen. You scroll down where it says G Trump. You copy that, head on over back to Uni, paste it in and click on Giga Trump. And if you wanted to swap, say 0.01, .01, this is not financial advice in any way, shape, or form. This is for educational and informational purposes only. Do your own research. I have nothing to do with any of these projects. I'm making this video completely on my own accord. So we'll hit swap now. Confirm the swap. And it will confirm in our Coinbase wallet. Bang, bang. Hit confirm. And that's how you do it. It's extremely simple. Wait for that to confirm. Swap success. There we go. We can look at the activity in our Uniswap and we can see that we swapped 0 0.01 ETH for 607,000 G Trump. If we wanted to sell the G Trump, it would be the same exact process. We make sure G Trump is on the top. We can put in the amount we want to sell. If we wanted to sell 100,000 tokens, that's worth $6. And we can go ahead and swap it. This is showing you how to buy and sell because you need to know how to do both, of course. And this is an educational tutorial video. 
We'll hit approve swap. We'll need to approve the swap in our Coinbase wallet. Okay, so the pop-up will show up and we will confirm it. The withdrawal limit is all of my G Trump. I'm fine with that. That's fine. I trust Uniswap. It's a trusted application. We'll hit approve. Okay, that went through. It's instant. Now we'll sign the transaction. And now we need to actually confirm the transaction. You'll need to do this the first time you sell any token on Uniswap or Aerodrome, whatever. This is the process. This is what it looks like. Now you hit confirm to actually go through with the transaction and you just sold 100,000 G Trump for Ethereum. This is how you buy and sell meme coins on base using the new Coinbase smart wallet. Hope this video was helpful and hope you enjoyed it. So in this video, I showed you step-by-step step how to use the new Coinbase smart wallet, how to set it up from scratch, how to create your wallet, how to connect your Coinbase existing account to the smart wallet and fund your smart wallet directly from your Coinbase account. And then I showed you how to make the Coinbase wallet browser extension, link it into your Coinbase smart wallet so you can interact with any decentralized application on the base network. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you let me know by smashing that like button down below. And if you are brand new to Crypto Empire and you are not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead right now and smash that subscribe button down below and turn on all bell notifications so you don't miss any future videos. And my name is Connor from Crypto Empire. I'll see you in the next video.